So I had stereotypes about Russia. Um, there are several stereotypes about Russia and Russians, um, some of which have to do with their hospitality and how they treat others and what they do as professions. My real life situation, um, this is Tom Tremble. I've known him since I was like four and he's in the military and this, I was telling him how I wanted to go to Russia and I want to live in Russia and I want to go to school in Russia and he told me, oh no, I'm not allowed to. And my dad also said that I'm not allowed to go because of crime rates and sex And this is my dad and I, and this is Tom and I, and Tom and Tom and me, where we had a conversation. Um, questions about the real life situation. Why is there a stereotype that Russia is filled with crime? What other stereotypes are there? And do Americans have these stereotypes because of the Cold War? Um, my knowledge question. To what extent are generalizations about Russia slash Russians justified? Um, my areas of knowing uh, for I did ethics. Is it ethical to stereotype Russians? Um, for history, did the Cold War influence how we see slash treat Russians? Um, ways of knowing perception. Has our perception of Russia slash Russians become influenced by war propaganda and reason? Can st statistics support these stereotypes? For history and perception, some believe that history repeats itself. Maybe that's true. Um, the Cold War and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, tense relations between the Soviet Union and um, the United States because of their communist government. Um, we were very wary about communism and the whole war against communism um, was a little tense. Um, there was also making of nuclear weapons, which worried both countries. Um, Soviet missiles in Cuba worried President Kennedy because they were 90 miles from U.S. shore and tensions were high because we were battling and um, so they didn't want the missiles to hit the United States, obviously, so a matter of national security. Um, Americans came to view Soviets as wanting to rule everything they came upon and dangerously daring. Um, they, they have a massive amount of land, the largest country in the world. Um, so also Americans began began to believe that the Soviets hated Americans and vice versa because of war propaganda. Um, perception influences how we see others in certain situations. Um, for example, propaganda. There were propaganda in both countries. Um, this is from Russia. And it they were taking our um, civil rights problems and using them against us. Um, so this is an African American and it, He's being hung by the Statue of Liberty. And this is a capitalism uh, person. And then this is God or Jesus and the Holy Saint. So, um, and then the next one is the USSR point of view um, of America. This is Uncle Sam attacking everyone. Um, and then our point of view from uh, the USSR is attacking us and everyone else. This can influence um, how we view others, and it greatly impacts how we think of people. Ethics and reason. Is it ethical to judge at all, or is it only ethical to judge based on past experiences? Um, this is a question I've had for a long time. Um, for example, um, the United States with 9-11, is it ethical to judge um, Muslims based on how they look because of 9-11? and the terrorist attacks that we've encountered. Um, reason, we use reason to figure situations and create our own opinion. Um, so I find this very interesting. I decided to um, debunk the crime stereotype. And so crime in St. Petersburg, this is out of 120 points. Um, overall, it's 42.71, which isn't all that bad. It's about moderate. Um, it was 45.49 in Moscow. And Moscow's a bigger city, so you're gonna have more crime there anyways. So I wasn't really worried. Um, for a, just normal attackings, it's 42.33 in St. Petersburg, and in Moscow, 
Uh, attacks based on ethnicity, race, or religion, I found this very interesting because you'd think that American tourism, you know, you'd think that we, they would be a little hesitant to see us. Actually, they're not in St. Petersburg. So it's flat 28. Um, the only race they're wary about um, are Asians. Uh, they're a little worried about that because the Russian line and the Chinese line a lot of illegal, immig illegal immigrants cross over, and they do not like them. So um, in Moscow, 41.02 uh, based on ethnicity. Corruption and bribery, I was expecting this. 75.34 um, and 76.40 in Moscow. Um, Russia is known for their corruption in their government, especially when it comes to law enforcement. Some police officers just aren't the greatest. Um, and then I compared them to Washington, D.C. and Chicago. And it was appalling because they're so much more dangerous than St. Petersburg and Moscow. Um, overall, 75.48 in D.C., um, Chicago 78.76, attacking 61.27 and 62.22 in Chicago, which I found interesting because I do not want to walk, it, walk alone at night. So, um, attacks based on ethnicity, race, or religion, 47.64, which is awfully high um, for a country that says that you, you're free to believe what you want to believe. And, you know. um, attacks based on ethnicity, race, or religion in Chicago is 46.67. Corruption and bribery, this was weird. I was a little appalled at this. Um, corruption and bribery in, in D.C. is 61 out of 120, which is awfully high and it was 71.30 in Chicago. Conclusion, um, history and perception. History explains why the United States and Russia have a tense relationship from the Cold War and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, it's very, it explains a lot like how we view people and why in movies we always blame the Russians or the Chinese. Um, perception explains why Americans think Russians hate them and Russians think Americans hate them. Um, ethics and reason, statistics show that crimes in D.C. and Chicago are more prevalent than in St. Petersburg and Moscow. Therefore, the stereotype that major cities in Russia are full of crime is which I was very happy about. Have you ever Any questions? Yeah. Where did the statistics about crime rates come from? Uh, hold on, let me show you my um, it's a site called Numeo. It's based on uh, perception of tourists and people that live in Moscow and St. Petersburg and people that live in D.C. and Chicago. And they put uh, what they think happened. And if they had been attacked, they report what happened. Yeah. Wait, what was, I was kind of confused on how the numbers were reported for the charts. I guess. You said out of like 120? Yeah, it was at 120 points. Like, what does that mean? Like instead of being out of 100, like for a grade, if you have like an 85 out of 100, you get an 85%. It's, it's just, it's like that, except it's out of 120. And that's just based off the numbers of like the taxes? Yeah. Anyone else? Are you gonna use the data that you have come up with and show your dad and let him know that, hey, you know, we've been to DC, you know, Chicago's a cool place. I already have. And does that change his perception or? He was very surprised. His um, reasoning? Yeah, he was very surprised about it. And he was like, well, maybe it's safer for you to go than to go to DC by yourself. Um, I haven't talked to Tom yet, but um, I will because he's wrong. Um, but he is, my dad is still worried about me going to smaller cities because it's more dangerous in suburban areas. So, um, which is odd, because usually it's the other way around. Um, so I want to go to smaller cities and visit um, Orthodox churches, because they're beautiful, and um, little, uh, like a grave site in Daughterburg and stuff like that. So uh, he's like, oh, you might want to take someone with you. So, yeah. so um, was Tom, is Tom referring to actually what the, like, has he been to Russia previously? I do not know, and I don't know if he's allowed to tell me that he if he had gone. I thought he was been to Russia based off his experiences, he was telling me not to go there. Well, I think that it's based off his perception of Russia or his friend's experiences in Russia. And he's military? Yes.
So, I don't know. I think he's just worried about me going. Well, that's good. Any other questions? Thank you. So, do you like want to go to?